Hey witches, what's up and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Barbie and thank you guys so much for joining me today. Please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more crystal and witchy content. In this week's video, I'm gonna be sharing five crystals that I love to use to help with my anxiety. Now this is completely based on my experience and I am not a medical expert or a therapist or have any degree in the medical field. These are just crystals that I have worked with that I highly recommend for anxiety that have worked really well for me. So let's jump in and get started. So the very first crystal that I'm going to recommend for anxiety is Lipidolite. So what's special about Lipidolite is that it contains lithium and lithium is scientifically proven to help with anxiety. Now Lipidolite comes in many different forms, towers, spheres, palm stones, bracelets, tumbles, you can really get it in any shape and size. And Lipidolite is relatively cheap and inexpensive. I also wanted to show you this piece. This is high altitude clear quartz and this has Lipidolite on it. So this is again another really great piece to use with both the clear quartz and lipidolite, it really amplifies that lithium in the crystal. So if you can find a combo like this, again, this is another great one to use for anxiety. Lipidolite is a great crystal to keep in your bedroom to help when you're sleeping at night. It's also great to bring with you when you travel. So highly recommend bracelets, palm stones, or tumbles to carry with you. I also like to use lipidolite for breathing exercises. I place a piece of lipidolite on my vargas nerve and it sets that if you put a cool object, an ice pack, or even a crystal here, it can help calm your energy when you're having an anxiety attack. So I would basically place this crystal right here. This has really helped me. I'll just lay down, place the crystal on my chest, and do some deep breathing, the four square breathing, just to kind of help me calm down, and it really, really helps. So the second crystal I highly recommend is lithium. Now, lithium is a little bit harder to come by and it's a little bit more expensive. This is one that not all crystal shops carry, so you definitely have to do a little bit of searching, but you can definitely find lithium on Etsy. Now, my favorite type of lithium is pink lithium, but you can also get gray lithium. There are tons of different colors that lithium comes in. I just personally connect with the pink lithium. So these are two examples of the pink lithium towers. I got these on Etsy and they're just super, there's an example of the lithium right there. These are super great to keep in your bedroom, to carry with you in your purse. These are small enough. I think these were about $30 a piece. Like I said, lithium is a little bit more on the expensive side, but a great stone for anxiety. So like the first crystal I recommended, Lipidolite, that contains both lithium and mica. This one is just pure lithium. It could have some iron in it or other bits in the quartz, but this is just pure lithium. So again, Again, it's a really great crystal. I have seen lithium pendants that you can wear, but I don't often see lithium bracelets, but I have seen tumble stones, and I will try to get these in my store because they're great to just throw in your bag. I often carry mini lithium towers with me when I travel to help ease anxiety. The next crystal I'm going to recommend is amethyst. Amethyst is one of those staple crystals for anxiety. It is a super easy crystal to find, and it's very inexpensive. You can get it in a raw form, a polished form, tumbled bracelets, literally any kind of form. It's readily available on Amazon, Shein, Five Below. You can really get amethyst anywhere and everywhere. So I definitely wanted to recommend a very accessible crystal. So these are the two pieces of amethyst that I currently keep in my bedroom to help with anxiety. That's where I spend the most time. Oh my gosh, there's a rainbow. So this is a Brazilian amethyst and this is Uruguayan amethyst. So it doesn't matter the locality of the amethyst because it still has the healing properties of helping with anxiety. This is a great size because you can hold it in your hands very easily and the cooling of the crystal just feels really relaxing and it's a great stone to meditate with. With. You can take both of these and meditate with them at the same time. They have extremely calming energy. And what this crystal has in common with the first crystal I showed is that it is purple. So a cheat sheet way to know if crystals are good for anxiety is their color. So blue crystals and purple crystals are often really great stones for anxiety and sleep and feeling a calm. So crystals like blue calcite, kyanite, celestite, those are some great blue crystals that help with 
calmness aquamarine's another one and any crystals in the purple and blue category so if you are having anxiety and you feel drawn to a blue or purple crystal definitely pick that up and try to work with it and just remember it doesn't matter the quality of the crystal you are working with for anxiety it just matters the type of crystal so don't worry if you have lower quality crystals it is absolutely okay to work with those to help reduce anxiety amethyst is also another great stone to help with sleep i definitely keep a lot more amethyst in my bedroom to help me fall asleep at night so i definitely recommend using it in your bedroom as it does aid in sleep another way i recommend using amethyst is jewelry amethyst is so easily found you can get amethyst bracelets for fairly inexpensive same with amethyst pendants or necklaces so if you are an anxious person when you leave your house highly recommend just throwing on some amethyst jewelry and you will be better off than if you didn't have it so the next crystal I highly recommend for anxiety is smoky quartz I have a giant smoky quartz point in my living room because I really like to use it to not only ground the space but also reduce the negative energy smoky quartz is one of those crystals that is really good at just removing and eliminating and cleansing the space of negativity and in my experience a lot of anxiety stems from negativity so that's why I'm recommending smoky quartz so these are the two absolutely stunning pieces of smoky quartz that I keep in my bedroom these are natural and are not treated I find that the stuff that is treated doesn't quite work as well so I tend to stay clear of the treated smoky quartz and tend to stick with the more natural smoky quartz. I have an example of one that's treated, so let me grab it and show you what that looks like. So this is an example of the treated smoky quartz. You can see the color is almost black. And most natural smoky quartz doesn't get quite this dark where it's almost opaque and you can't see through it. And you can tell that it's been treated just because of the white base. That is a dead giveaway that something's been treated. You can see right here it didn't fully cover the major or the base of the crystal so that is just what a treated heat treated smoky quartz looks like they do this to make the crystal look darker so it's a higher quality but if you take a look at these two crystals you can definitely see the difference I almost think this one doesn't have as good of energy in my opinion I just don't like to work with it as much for anxiety because it almost just doesn't feel as authentic so I definitely like to stay away from the treated smoky quartz so smoky quartz is one of the crystals I literally keep in in every single room of my house or every single floor of my home because it does help reduce that negative energy and it does help ground you when you walk in so I have it in my office my living room my bedroom my husband's room like literally every single room we have smoky quartz because it is such a powerful grounding crystal it also is one that is very affordable and easy to find so I definitely recommend getting pieces of smoky quartz and placing them in different rooms in your house it's also a great one to travel with there is plenty of smoky quartz jewelry pieces out there i definitely have some smoky quartz bracelets available on my website if you'd like to try that out a pretty inexpensive way to try wearing smoky quartz out to see if it helps reduce your anxiety and the fifth crystal i recommend is a selenite satin spar chunk wand carving bowl whatever form you see fit i definitely recommend having a piece of selenite in every single room in your house with you when you travel because selenite is so good at removing and cleansing your space so this is the giant selenite wand that i have that i 100 percent use to help with anxiety and reducing my mood especially when other people's anxiety or negative energy gets around me I love to just do this and, and cleanse myself this is another big one that I'll place like on my body as I lay down to help just cleanse my entire body and I know that may sound a little silly but the ice coldness of this crystal and the heaviness of it almost feels like cold weighted blanket and I can honestly feel it working as I place it on my body and just sit and meditate and breathe and just expel all of the negative anxious energy that I have so I highly recommend selenite satin spar whether it's selenite or a satin spar it still works the same and these are self cleansing crystals they do not need to be cleansed and they can cleanse every other crystal on this list so that's again why I recommend getting a piece
piece of selenite or satin spar. Another really easy way to cleanse all of your crystals at the end of the day is put them in a selenite bowl. This will help remove all of the negative anxious energy that were in them from the day. So definitely use your selenite to cleanse your crystals after you've used them, after you've gone out with them for the day, after you've traveled with them. Use the selenite to just get that energy off. It's a nice smokeless way to cleanse and it's an easy crystal to use for beginners and it doesn't need any additional cleansing. So I highly recommend selenite. I keep this big wand right next to my bed so anytime I just have a bad day or I have a bout of anxiety, I just place this on my chest and breathe for five to 10 minutes and meditate and just get rid of that negative anxious energy. Selenite again is one of those super affordable, easy to find crystals. I found that big selenite wand at TJ Maxx. I know they sell them at Home Goods too and it was like $16, super cheap, but obviously you can find them at most crystal shop. Most people online carry them. I carry mini selenite sticks in my shop and selenite bowls if you're interested in picking up one of those to kind of experiment and try, but selenite overall is pretty inexpensive and readily available. So definitely one you can experiment with to see if that helps with anxiety and getting rid of negativity. So those are my top five recommendations for crystals to help with anxiety. I will leave links below to my website and or Etsy if you wanna see what crystals I have available in these materials. I don't think I have all of them, but I definitely have most on this list if you'd like to purchase from my shop and experiment with yourself, but there are plenty of other shops out there who offer these crystals at an affordable price. If you have another crystal that works with your anxiety, comment down below and let me know what it is. I'm always looking for new crystals to work with and try to reduce anxiety because it's such a big part of our society these days and mental health is so important. So if you guys have a favorite crystal that you like to use for anxiety, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and joining me today. Please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more crystal and witchy content. And if you guys like this type of content, let me know in the comment section down below. I am definitely working on a money manifestation crystal and money toads and how to use those crystals and where to place them in your home and how I do it to be successful with a money manifestation. So that one is in the works. So that'll be coming out soon. So make sure to turn on the bell so you don't miss that video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.